Now, we're about, we're about to read it. Ladies and gentlemen, read Schloss. Check, check, check. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, I'll take it a bit more time well for you guys. This is great. I love watching these two. I could just sit here, sit back in the back, just like you guys. And I'm a storage solutions engineer. Do disasters happen? They do. Two weeks before Christmas, I found myself on a flight to Tokyo, Japan. We had bought an extra seat for an analyzer sitting next to me because a disaster had happened. Those things seem to happen with technology. Well, I work with storage, and those disasters can be really scary. However, with Hewlett Packard Enterprise, I can tell you that we make those things less scary, and we try to prevent them as much as possible. And one of, one of the elements of one, our product lines that really supports that are storage arrays. And we have four different storage arrays, and all of them are 5.9 or better. They are set up to run and run and run. Well, what I'm here to share with you is our flagship product, 3PAR. We have a, have a feature in it called Remote Copy, but all of these arrays have, that, have the capability to take snapshots and then do a remote copy to protect your data. And with SAP HANA, that has to be done really super fast. And what I'm going to share with you just briefly are some of the options that we use with the remote copy on 3PAR. Remote copy basically gives you, takes two 3PAR arrays. It can be to similar locations, same location. What we can do though is remote copy those volumes of data back and forth between those two arrays using fiber channel or IP networks. It gives you some flexibility of the distance between those locations as well. For a local recovery, we have, keep, have this set up. We have two of our three bar arrays. They're up and running, remote copying the data back and forth. And if one of those arrays goes down, your server automatically picks up from the other one. Simple as that. Great protection for any type of, any type of your storage need that you might need. From the remote site, here's another option that we use, the primary secondary site. We have a have a three par on both sides, do replication and then remote copy between those two, synchronized or asynchronous, you can do either one of those, protects your, protects your data again, gives you that capability of having a server in both location. When we're talking about SAP HANA though, it's usually those production systems keeping them up and running constantly. And that's where we really get into this type of configuration. We take a SAP HANA server, on one, at a primary site, we use system replication. So the SAP system replication between those two servers, you, you match the whole configuration there, and then we use on the storage side that remote copy capability to go to a remote site. Gives you that di disaster recovery configuration as well. Another model of that is actually to have a primary site. It's doing just the reverse with a remote copy here on the, on the secondary side. So if you want specific details about this, one of my colleagues has done a web, webcast about it, and she um, did, did this just about two weeks ago. So the fresh data, it's all, gives you all the details about the different SAP tools that you want to, that you have to use to make this function and what you have to do to bring up a server if you've got a separate server on in a primary and remote, remote site, recommend that you go there. If you want to take a snapshot of that QBR code, that will take you directly to that, to his presentation. The cool thing about our storage arrays, all of our storage arrays are TDI certified. They give you a broad capability, but really if you're trying to do that production environment, three-part, Storage arrays are the, are the ones that you really want to, to look at. This is a really telling slide because it, it shows really what our customers are, SAP customers are choosing. They are choosing Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And from a storage perspective, I work on the solution, the end to end. And I can tell you that we have world class servers, we have world class storage arrays, 
uh, all of the infrastructure that will take you to protect your data as well, and world-class point next services. So any questions before I end? If, if not, I'll be here. I can ask it, answer any of your questions afterwards. I'm here tomorrow as well. Meet the experts. You can come talk to me about your architecture, your, your solution, or your problems that you're having. And we can go through, whiteboard them. We've got a room that we can meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. Just want you to know that we're here to help you. Thanks, guys. All very right. Much for Reed. Reed, awesome as always. Thank you. Thank you, Reed. We are going to do the drawing right now, and if you do have any questions,